You have been well trained. No, you don't have to carry a sword to be powerful. No. I won't fail you. Oh, do not. I'm not afraid. There is no threat. at the Nova Open for round after lunch. What was that, five? Round five now. All right, so I was right. Last round about this round. So we are at round five. Everyone has had a hefty amount of food from the food truck, so we are good to go. Some people are dropping out because they may have eaten too much or their SOS might be too low. But we are at round five, so if you are X and four, you are pretty much, unfortunately, out of the availability to get into the top cut. If you're X and three right now, you do have a potential to be in the top 32. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen uh, getting into the top 16. And then we have a bunch of X2s, uh, X1s, and these are two 4 and 0 players. So here with me again is Billy. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? How's your lunch? It was great. All right, so let's talk about these decks. You play Raylo, so you are the expert. And then we have on the left, Sheev the Senate Palpatine, <laughs> and Watto, your Republic of Nargood Crediteer. I play both of these decks. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you know, just a, a amazing ability to get all the force powers and, and abilities on Palpatine, and of course Raylo. Just you know, this character is so important in that matchup. So what we'll be uh, watching there. So why don't you tell us what we're going to look at while I eat some of my delicious funnel cake? <laughs> that sounds good. Well, <laughs> why don't come out with the with the uh, resource side there? Um, and remember, he he's, he's now eroded that blue events cannot touch his dice. Oh, so that seems good. <laughs> that's going to uh, be a little bit of a little bit of an issue here <laughs> for Raylo. But um, let's see with the Matthew on the right here with a Yoda saber on Ray. So what what are the power actions between Ray and Kylo? Because that's kind of one of the most critical things that makes the deck function. Right. So Kylo's a bit power action is move a shield from this character to another character. Then if you move that shield to a hero character, deal damage to a character. Ray is reroll a character die or turn a villain character die to a side showing a value of zero. So their character dice are very important uh, to this deck and of course the multiple uses of their special. So Ray can give two shields and then if that character has three or more shields you can reroll the die in. Then Kylo is deal two damage to a character if any of this damage is blocked. Reroll this die instead of removing it. So Ray can really kind of use their dice multiple times, which is a, a big part of the, the, the deck's ability. Yeah, so from what I understand, there's not a ton of upgrades, just because Ray and Kylo have the capacity to get their dice out into the field multiple times over and over, yep. and being able to capitalize on multiple shields on these characters so that they have three, which allows Ray to reroll her special, mm -hmm. or you can use Kylo to put a shield onto an opponent, use his special to deal damage, and then reroll his die back out on the table. So you're just getting value. Right. And it uh, looked like we had a power action there on Watto on Ray's dice. Uh, don't, don't think he hit it. Um, but damage over there to Palp. So Ray's how does the Palp deck win this game? Because Kylo and Ray are very well built to just shield up mm -hmm. over and over and over. I think it's just a controlling those character dice, you know, um, and getting Palpatine. I, you know, Kylo and Ray, they'll kind of hit that, that ceiling, and then they can't really get a little bit over that. So I think if Palpatine can just build up and build up and build up, or if Sarasu comes out, that's going to help, um, then I think uh, they uh, he might run away with this. I mean, the, the Ray and Kotlo deck, I mean, their, their removal is only so good because it's only blue cards. So if Palp can just, like, storm, you know, roll out a ton of dice and, you know, overwhelm the board, then Raylo might not be able to have much many answers for that. Now, Palpatine and Watto both have very good power actions. Uh, mm -hmm. What exactly do they do? So, Watto we saw already. So, you can spend a resource, choose a symbol on a die, uh, and if it rerolls and that symbol hits, you gain two resources. On Palpatine, you get to reroll or roll a die on an ability into the pool. And Palpatine gains plus one health for each ability on him. Yes, and abilities do not count towards his upgrade limit. Which seems pretty good. That's yeah, not bad. We saw him do a lot of terrible things last night in the Trilogies event. So it rolls out two melee, two shield, and a dollar. Yeah. So in this instance, who do you kill first? Uh, if you're playing as the Palpatine player, are you targeting Ray or Kylo? I think I mean Kylo. Kylo's the, the damage dealer. 
um, with those uh, special sides on there. So um, I think you take try and take Kylo off as, as fast as you can. So it looks like five damage over here on Palp. So he's got six left, ten from normal, and then the one from the source who makes him an 11 health character. Right, and that's kind of what you need to do if you're playing against a Palpatine, is you need to turn one, give it all you got. If you can't stick a lot of damage onto Palpatine, turn two, he's going to get bigger, and turn three, he's going to be almost unkillable if your opponent does get the right mixture of cards, uh, because we saw that multiple times yesterday where Palpatine's against Ewoks, they don't kill him. He's against the droids, they don't kill him. And by turn three, he's got like five, four, five, six different abilities on him, and you know you can deal three damage i don't care I, yeah. i've got back to tank i can heal uh i've got ways to make shields i can just i can sit here and take it because you know i'm the senate exactly and full shields over on the Raylo side uh we had a power action that blanked one of the um palpatine dice from ray and the power action for palp rolled the source back in takes the money from it now blue heroes do have some ways to turn shields into damage, such as a Taru Strike. Mm -hmm. uh, what other tools do they have to uh, essentially create this really impactful damage out of nowhere? You can look at uh, things like um, Adapt even is not damage, but you can remove a shield to gain money. Yep. Uh, a Taru Strike's a great option. Um, so you, you got a lot of different ways that you can make those shields work for you. Things like Obi Did Saber, the special on yeah. there. I mean, anything like that is gonna be very, uh, very good for the Raylo player. Yeah. So here's something you don't want to see. Palpatine with money. Yeah. Because that can easily turn into uh, two or three upgrades real fast. And that also means potentially, you know, one you know, extra health. Two, three health puts Palpatine from 10 to 13, 14. That is not something you want to deal with. Rolling out Ray here. So we got one stick, two stick. And what was on the Yoda's die? A shield. So potentially it goes into Palpatine... Going from five, you get rid of the two shields and you stick one, so he goes to six. That would be, we're theoretic, we're, we're believing that there's still going to be an upgrade coming out, so that would put him at potentially half health. Mm -hmm. um, what does Palpatine need to do here? Because legitimately, he is in danger of getting wiped out. There's a force focus. Um, I mean, he's my favorite stick vehicle. To his, yeah, <laughs> he's got to <laughs> stick to his game plan um, and just keep on on getting more powerful, um, put down those up, those uh, abilities, and mm -hmm. go from there. I mean, that's the only way he's gonna outlast the stack. But um, yeah, so, so the uh, lovable Ford Focus upgrade. <laughs> uh, what does the special do? So you can uh, turn one of your dice to any side, and then you can reveal a blue card from your hand to turn an opponent's dice to any side. Yeah, and that's going to be really critical because if you see special chaining coming out of Ray or Kylo, it's going to hurt real bad. Mm -hmm. And being able to say, uh, I, don't, I don't want to deal with that, feels good. Ah, Force okay. Jump. So this is another help. ability. Yeah, so Force Jump, for those who don't know, one cost, uh, one shield, one shield, two specials, and two blanks. Uh, the special is turn a dice showing damage to his side showing a blank, and you can reroll it into the pool after resolving it. So you can you know get multiple uses out of it um, depending on how you well you roll. So... It's going to help mitigation. Uh, and we threw some more damage into Palp, so he's got se uh, seven on him now. Yeah, but he does have 13 health now, so he's becoming half the Senate. And once he gets to six, he levels up and changes into his final form. It's like the two focus, blank, shield, two shield, and a blank there. So not a good place because... Nice. That's not what he wanted. Kylo can eat those shields and re-roll back in. No Kylo special, which is good. Uh, but no right special now, on the Neiman either. Yeah. Uh, Palpatine needs, like, desperately needs to get damage on the table right now because both characters have, like, Ray and Kyle have no damage and they're fully shielded up. And this is not what you want because the longer the game goes and the longer they keep those shields on, the more time they're going to have to get the proper upgrades out and they're just going to wear down Palpatine. But the hilarious thing is the counter is true for Palpatine as well. If he stays alive and they don't do any damage to him, he's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and then crush you. Mm hmm. So here's a good thing we're going to see. Uh, Watto is taking some damage, but we could see a big burst of resources out of Watto here this turn. He does have uh, plus two modified, uh, what do you call it, resource sides. I was going to say money sides. Um, and he has his power action, which he can call on himself and allow, you know, hey, I'm going to say money because that's the highest value I have and chance to roll, which means more money. Like, Watto is there for the utility, 
but that just empowers Palpatine so much, so quickly. And none of those blue removal spells can touch Watto's dice, so he has to use neutrals or Which, put different colors in his illegal deck at that point. Right, yeah. <laughs> so easy pickings. Just play easy pickings. Don't worry about it. I won't say anything if you won't. <laughs> I know chat will, though. Oh, yeah. So we won't do that. All right, so we're flipping some dice here, to The special on force, force Focus and the two melee on Palpatine. Yeah, all the players are going to be reading what this card does because not many people use it. But it is a very, very useful card in the right uh, situations or in the right deck. Mm -hmm. Because I'm willing to wager a majority of the cards in this deck are blue. Yeah. Ah, okay. I would guess so. Yep. Now, we see Kylo has two sticks, one money. Ray has... It's like two sticks and a one stick? Yeah, yeah I think so. It's hard to tell. So that is five? It's 2-2-1? Two, two, yep, 2-2-1. Two, two, so two okay, so shields two gone, shields come off. going to take three. Three should come on here, if our math is right, which it is. So he is at six, seven, eight out of 13. Still not bad. He's uh, not going to be able to kill him right here because there's only one Kylo die. Now, there's two things that could happen here. We could see two big plays. One, well, it all involves Watto, but say Watto makes a lot of money. We could see two new... Upgrades come out on Palp, and the next round he backed us for five, mm -hmm. which back to tank is a two drop that states you heal uh, one health per is it upgrade I believe, one per upgrade on the character. So yes, it's a five maximum of five. So this uh, this eight damage sitting on Palpatine could potentially go down very significantly if he has the back to tank, if he has the money for the back to tank, and if he can get two more upgrades out and Ooh. double blanks. Feels bad. I think another uh, damage is going to. Yep, he's going to play the cross guard and deal damage to Palp from playing it because it's played on Kylo. So, so looking at nine damage on Palpatine. So four health left. It's still doable. He is not out, and there's there's a lot of dice on that table right mm -hmm. now for Palpatine. So taking two shields from Sorsu. Okay, he's trying to extend the gap. So what do you think is in his hand? I mean, at this point, you know, he's got to have some, some, probably some more abilities in there, I would guess. That's why the, I mean, the, for, the focus specials out there, I assume he's going to hopefully, you know, or for his sake, move, uh, flip some of those uh, Watto die or use the Watto power action, one of the two, uh, to get money side so he can play more upgrades on Palp. And hey, look at that. Yeah. So at this point, I would wager. Palpatine is going to take the dollar. Okay. Yep. And then he's probably got a two drop in his hand. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't used his power action yet, so if it's something, you know, decent, he can roll it in. Right. The only problem is it's kind of risky because if you have a two drop you need to play and you miss your roll, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and tell us once again what the Kylo power action does because we just saw a shield scoot from Kylo to Rey and something happened to one of the shields. Yeah, so when you move one shield from Kylo to another character... Then if that move that shield to a hero, deal a damage to a character. So it moved to Ray, who's obviously a hero, and uh, we uh, got the ping on Palp. Now Palpatine just played this card here. Is that Neiman Master? That is Source Sor Training. Source Sor Training. Okay. So that is a one focus, one shield, one resource, special, special. Uh, blue character only. Special is give a sh character two shields. Then he can discard it to play Sorosu, but Sorosu is already on him, and he can only have one form per character. But we did see Palp. Uses power action with some focus on the table. Yeah. So. Discarding. Discard a free-for-all, looks like. Oh, all right. What have we got here? Some specials. Oh, yep. And a resource yep, coming out of Watto. So what does the special on uh, Sorosu training do? So it says remove a uh, die showing damage and give a character one shield. All right, so once again, Palp is tanking up. He is now at 14 total health, two shields on deck, nine damage is stuck. So we're not out of it yet, but he, he is extending that gap that we were talking about. Uh, unfortunately, still no damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a slog for the Palp player. And there's some more damage from Raylo, two and then plus two, blank on Kyle's die and a discard, I believe, or... Yeah, discard. 
All right, so that's four damage, which means two shields go away. Mm -hmm. Two stick on Palpatine, so it goes from nine to 11. It's getting ugly. Yeah, I mean, uh, for, I mean, uh, he's looking for Bacta right now. Something yeah, bad. yeah, I was going to say he needs Bacta real bad or some sort of removal because that's going to put Palpatine very easily in striking distance of Ray or any kind of shenanigans. You can see a uh, Taru strike just mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Uh, so what, is, what does the Palpatine player need to do here to not just lose the game? Uh, bartering, so that's going to give him one more ability upgrade, um, another health. So he's still got two. He still could back to, uh, <laughs> for the full five now. So that would put him at take away heal and five, which would be really good for him. Yeah, that would be really nice. There's four, so two. He's going to take two after the shields. All right, so he's 11 out of 15, four health left. Do we see the back to play right here? And, yep, there it is. Okay, so he's going to heal All right. five. So All right, six. so uh, Papa Palpatine is back in action. He got his uh, bionic legs attached. He's going to throw the Senate at you here. It's going to hurt real bad. So now we're about, uh, we should, in theory, we should see Palpatine start kicking the his, you know, what is, what is Kylo? His grandson? Great grandson? I mean, if you read the new expanded universe, technically he created Darth, which means Kylo is a relation to Palpatine. We're not going into that. Let's talk about Destiny. Sure. That so, got really weird really fast. So uh, Neiman got put down um, when that when that's um, and turned the Kylo die to the special. So rolling in Palp. All kinds of focus. Well, that's not bad here because Palpatine can take a beating. Mm -hmm. Ray does not output a lot of damage and Palpatine has the capacity now to start and uh, establish himself with damage yep start to put pressure on Kylo because he has no shields mm -hmm. and uh, use use Waddle to make a lot of money yeah like the game's not over thank goodness but it's gonna be really interesting how the players sequence their next few actions because I feel like this could be a very critical turn in the game mm -hmm. if Palpatine can start to get that engine rolling yeah so we'll see. I mean, uh, no damage shown yet, but like shit, lots of focus out there. Um, so we'll see how Daniel goes about this. And don't forget, he has two, well, he should have two back to tanks. Mm -hmm. So it's very logical that he's going to try and dig, like burn out his hand, get as much value, try and dig for that second back to tank or back to therapy, just because if he can take another five damage off, that is pretty much another turn he's going to survive. Yeah. And the longer Palpatine stays on this table, the worse your day is going to be. Mm -hmm. Especially with that power action he hasn't used yet, we could start to see some really interesting, you know, resolve, power action, resolve, do some things. And uh, Palpatine right now has significantly more options than he did previously, which means it's not going to feel really good for Raylo. And he's checking out, which uh, card is that again? Is that training? Yeah, something? it's training. So that's going to give him two shields. Okay. The special on bartering is you're going to gain a resource and draw. Have you may force each player to draw a card. One of my favorite cards in a mill deck. Oh yeah. You make money and you're forcing to draw a thing. It feels really good. So he's got all kinds of specials now. Um, here comes Ray. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Special on Ray. Special on the Neiman. Now tell us again what Neiman does because we could see a special chain here, with Ray giving Kylo two shields. And who knows? Because we, we also have a shield showing on one of the dice, so we could see Kylo go up to three shields and Ray reroll in her own die. Yeah. So Neiman says turn a character die and upgrade die to the sides of your choice. So it could possibly start that chain. It's Kylo's die is still in there, and that's the one that's going to deal two damage, especially. And and the Daniel's got to be on uh, careful here because he wants the shields, but Kylo's die will. Reroll in if right. any of that damage is blocked. And I'm pretty sure he used the bartering special that you just talked about because he wants to dig for Bacta. If he can, if he drew it, he's going to feel real good right now yep. because he can. So. He can definitely get that two, that second resource on the table. And regardless of whatever Raylo does, he can just go, okay, cool, I heal five damage. Mm -hmm. So it turns to the source who's special, which is removed die showing damage to give a character a shield. And there's a fatal blow. So what does that what? do? 
Oh no, he he forced he did the force focus special, revealed the uh, the um, fatal blow to turn the Sorosu special or the Neiman special. I'm sorry to the shield side, so take away that di the the special chaining ability. Right, that's what it was. So Raylo is in an interesting place. I mean, yeah, he, he's <laughs> he's fully healthy, which is great for him. Uh, another cross guard coming down uh, over in the first one, so another damage to Palpatine. So Palp is back at nine. He just can't seem to get away from this. But as we've seen before, back to... It's like the sensu beans of the Star Wars universe. <laughs> you just come back from the dead. All right, check it out. We have money on Watto and a discard, which can be relevant. Being able to strip cards out of Raylo is... There's Very nasty. Luke's protection, so that's going right. to be able to go back on his deck and give shields. So if you're the Palpatine player, do you resolve that discard, or do you try and roll in for money? What do you think? I mean, on Desperate Measures, it blows up. All right. What does Desperate Measures do? Uh, zero cost, uh, discard, and uh, I think it's discard support, and take indirect damage equal to its cost. So that's a zero <laughs> cost. So Very convenient. That costs nothing. Yeah, you're fine. All right, we're going to see a discard to reroll. So we're going in hard. Let's see what we get here. Two melee special, special, and a shield. Now, this is really good for the Raylo player because, as you can see here, uh, with excellent sequencing, there are two specials on Ray, which means you can get four shields, and one of those dice will reroll back into the field. Kylo has his special, which allows him. To so, what you can do here, correct me if I'm wrong, is Ray can put shields on Kylo. Then Kylo could power action one over to Palpatine. Then, well, this is all like eventually. Uh -huh. Then he could eventually use his special to deal two damage to Palpatine and reroll the die in because something was blocked by a shield. Then Ray could put more shields on, so on and so forth. Like, there's, there's a lot of uh, crazy stuff you can do with their power actions and, and their specials. Yeah, there, there are many lines of play here for the Raylo player. Uh -huh. Now, the big question is does Palpatine have the removal to kind of, you know, stifle the plan here? All right, so source who's special, so removing the dice shown damage and giving Palpa shield. And then two more. All right, so two damage to Palpatine. Mm -hmm. Shields pop off, and Kylo gets to reroll. And another special. And big shout outs wow. to uh, Eric Wainwright at Team Covenant because he did that to me four times in a row, and I did not <laughs> like that whatsoever. <laughs> We could see the same thing happen where you just roll in Kylo, and then roll in Kylo, and then roll in Kylo, and then do it again. Mm -hmm. And that's when you feel real bad about playing a dice game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is an interesting thing that the Raylo deck has, is they can use resources that you've built up to protect you against you. Mm -hmm. All right, giving two shields to Kylo. Starting that chain of events that you talked about. All right, right, yeah, we're we're about to see a lot of terrible things happen. Where all right, we put a shield on Kylo, right. and then Ray rolls out again, Ray and rolls it in. Palpatine probably rolls his eyes. It's and like, what's shield. up with these teenagers messing with my uh, Death Star? Go away! Shouldn't you be at some kind of mall? So we still have Kylo sitting on two damage. Reroll himself back in. Neither Kylo nor Rey have used their power action, which is pretty gross. So the Palpatine player has a lot of options, but what does he need to do? Because once again, as established as he is and as much health as he has, uh, he's still got nine damage and yeah. on him and no damage on Raylo. Yeah, I mean, he, he needs some damage real quick. Um... What, what upgrades would help him get to that point? Is there anything in the deck that can help push? Because I know he has his lightsaber, right? Yeah, he's got a saber. I'm sure he's in there. Um, Four Storm, uh, even though it did have the nerf, uh, did have uh, still has very potent potent sides. But I mean, there's just so I mean, Raylo's in such a good position right now. I think uh, right. It's, a, it's definitely an uphill battle. Yeah, it is. However, Raylo also deals very very small increments of damage compared to what Palpatine can do in a mm -hmm. huge burst. Yeah. So we don't. Oh, did he say Alex, special? He, uh, he did, not did not say special. He, I'm sure he said melee. So there's oh, that. Oh, all right, Kylo. All right. all right. Ten damage on Palps. He's got five left. I bet you feel good when you see your opponent roll a blank after <laughs> two specials. <laughs> Ooh. So yeah, we need to see a back to real fast something because 
you know, as big as the Senate may be, it doesn't do much if it doesn't actually do any damage. Palpatine's action rolling in the sorcerer again, so we get that special. All right, just verifying what the special mm -hmm. does here between players. And that's something you should always feel free to do while you're playing in any kind of game, casual or tournament. If you don't know what something does, feel free to ask your opponent. It is public knowledge. Yep. Uh, don't play the game with uh, without understanding what's going on. It's mm -hmm. completely fair to ask your opponent, hey, what does that do? And they'll let you know, and you can keep on going with the game state. But you really don't want to play at a point where you're not sure what's happening. Something bad happens. All right, there's that, that discard. discard we were talking about. All right, he goes with the right, and we hit. Treasure. All right. I don't know if that really matters right now. And there's a, oh, there comes the polarity. So that's a one cost ambush action card. Uh, spot a hero character to give a character one shield. Spot a villain character to deal one damage to a character. Well, that that's must. That's 11. That feels good. Yep. All right, so Kylo's gonna move a shield and poke the bear. Putting Palpatine at a lot of damage. Yeah, 12. That's a lot. He doesn't have much health left. Nope. He's going to take three shields because he can. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad play. Yep. One more shield on Kylo. Full over there. Take a resource from. All right, and claim, and looks like we're going next round. Bartering, Bartering. over on. Yep. So he has so one extra health. That's one more good. health. All right. This is critical for Palpatine. What does he need to see? Obviously, back to. That. But what else does he need to get into that hand because he. He really needs to burst the character down, like, right I mean, now. He, he needs his, his damage upgrades, and he needs... I, he's been using a lot of the focus on Palpatine, which is great, but Palpatine's also got those those, uh, those melee sides, so I'm sure he wouldn't mind seeing some of those. Yeah, the, the problem is he's facing against two, essentially two 14 health characters, mm -hmm. fully shielded. Ray gets nothing of value in terms of damage, which gives Palpatine a moment to kind of breathe a little bit. Like, one stick is not a big deal. Yep. Some resources and a shield, not the end of the world. There's no lethal showing. He's got time. He can do a lot of different things here. So here we're going to see him Pal. roll out, which means he probably doesn't have back to us, so he's hoping to get the special on bartering so he can dig for it, which we do see a special on one of the barterings. So I would not be surprised if he resolves that to just kind of try and get into his health. Kylo, on the other hand, does actually roll some damage, but once again, so, it's not lethal. Yep. So four showing right now. So if three of it are removed and one six to Palpatine, he goes from 12 to 13, so he's okay. Mm -hmm. He's still not great, but he's okay. There's a special on, on bartering, yeah. so he's going to draw. He's got to dig. All right, and he still has Ford Focus. And, yep, doing special change. America's best vehicle of all time. <laughs> So now he can flip one of his dice and then reveal a blue card from his hand, which he may or may not do. Yep. Force jump. So he's going to turn. So he turns one of Ray's dice to a blank. And then he uses a Suresu Mastery, I believe. Yep. Puts a shield on Watto, the world's cheapest villain. And took out uh, that two side from Neiman that uh, Kyle wrote in. Yep. Seven minutes left in this game. A little over. So we're at a. All right, so discarded the Aquata Breather to reroll. So we're at a really interesting situation where Palpatine could get back to off, but there's so many dice on the Raylo side, and they still have the capacity to start doing shenanigans with Kyle's power action of dealing, a, moving a shield, dealing damage. Ray can use a power action to flip his die to a value of zero, which is a special. Then he uses a special <gasps> to deal damage to your shields, and your shields are blocking it. Then you roll it back out to help do it again, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the Raylo player has, once again, options. Options, options, options. And Palpatine, he's got problems. Hidden motive. All right, he rolls into a resource, which is not terrible. But like we keep saying, uh, where on earth are those damage upgrades? Maybe they're in his hand? About Maybe. to find out. All right, the one rare time Qui-Gon Jinn may be on the stream is his lightsaber is pitched to reroll these dice. I would give anything for Qui-Gon to become viable <laughs> again. I love that character. But alas, Ray is showing some damage, some specials. 
And Kylo, he's got some damage too. So Palpatine needs to needs to make some magic happen here real quick. What do you think is going on in Jabba's head right now? Like you're you're him. You've got cards. Is it back to is it, yep. Oh, there okay. it is, okay. Alright, you just healed five. You went from I'm probably gonna lose this game to I'm back in it. What is your game plan here? Well, you're also looking at, I mean, five and a half minutes left. I mean, he's dealt seven damage to zero. So you're that also can, thinking about, I mean, you've uh, got to be deal, looking for damage. And At you know, this you point, can, there's probably still one more turn. Yeah, I mean, you can only turtle so much in terms of, um, and you're trying to basically at this point just mitigate what you can and hope for, for something. I mean, it's, at this point, it's, it looks like a, a you know, bit of a major uphill battle for Daniel. But, yeah. um, but the thing is, what's really interesting is even though it's been a slower game, like, no one is really out of it yet. There's still many lines of play for both players. And legitimately, like, one critical error could swing the game in either direction. Mm -hmm. So we got the special from Neiman, which is going to turn a character dice and upgrade dice aside your choice. So then we got the Yoda Saber special, removing a, uh, a shield to deal two unblockable damage. And then Kylo special, which is going to deal two and then roll back in. All right, it's happening. <laughs> to quote Anakin, it's working. It's working! So Palpatine went from I'm healthy, or I'm dying, to I'm healthy, to my legs hurt. Mm -hmm. Mr. Krabs, my leg. So it's nine damage, power one. Action. Yep. What are we calling here? Not that. Womp, womp. There's a lot of cards in Palpatine's hand, which could turn into a pitch to reroll. Uh-oh. All right, we got a special chain coming on here. So R2 can flip a die to any side and then you can choose to draw a card. Which usually means R2 specials into Rey, who Forbidden. puts some shields out and then re-rolls herself, and you go, that was cute. Now what is that support that was just played so on the table? Forbidden lore, zero cost, so the first um, blue ability you play is reduced by one. And it's a play on the Sith, you can draw a card. Um, I think it's a little late for that, to be honest with you, but uh, I don't know. All right, so here comes Kylo. Second. Good guy Kylo, rolling in the damage, and he rolls money. So 10 damage on Palp, so he's got 6 left. You know what, Palpatine's the Senate, I don't think he cares about damage right now. In fact, I think time might become more of a factor, to All be right. very honest. Force jump for free. Yep. So Palpatine has, what, 17 health? 17 health, health now. Yep. He's, he's big. But, unfortunately, not much in the way of dealing damage. Yep. Do you think he goes for a mill victory here? <laughs> And he's got a long way to go for that. I mean, it could happen. We've seen crazier things. That Ewok game was, uh, we thought that was over, and we determined yeah. we were very wrong. Mm -hmm. So Kylo power action here, another ping. All right. Palpatine is at 9, 10, 11 damage. Still doing quite well. Missing an arm and a leg and a chunk of flesh, but he's okay. He's got the power of the Force. And Watto's just kind of sitting there looking at the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> waiting, waiting. See, I'm pretty sure if this was like a thematic game, he would just wait for Palp to like die and then he'd like mm. go loot the body. I mean, he, Watto hasn't done all, I mean, he's gotten a couple resources, but he hasn't had those big resource swings that, you know, you like yeah. to see out of Watto. Yeah, you, um, you, we haven't seen that big uh, plus five resources yeah. out of the plus two, plus two, and Palpatine goes, oh, all right, I'm going to play like two, three upgrades right now. Mm. Force wave, well, that would have. That's not great in this matchup, but... Uh, you know what? That's a really good card against Ewoks. It sure is. I don't like that card. <laughs> really don't. There's Well, there's the resource we were just talking about with uh, Wada. You have the two for one and the plus two. All right. That's $3. Unfortunately, there's less than two minutes, which makes this tricky because at this point, like, Conflicted. we might not get out of this round <laughs> because there's just been so yeah. many different actions played out over the course of this round. All right, so click the deal in damage to Pal. So we're looking at uh, damage on Raylo side, two, three, four. And Palpatine has 9, 10, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So he is showing lethal. Uh, Palpatine needs to do a thing. Well, there's, there's shields on his side, uh, but it doesn't win him the game. We're getting to a point now where there's a minute-ish left. And you have to be thinking, how do I how do I get out of this? How do I win this I game? I don't think there is a way, honestly. We've I mean, said that before. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just don't think there's there's anything Daniel can do here, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, 
Matthew played a, a great game, and um, well, it's not over yet. We could we could see some magic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there'll be some magic. Was, uh, Matthew might, you know, just magic that I'm not sure exists in I don't Destiny. Know. We've seen weird things. Ha oh, that's true. This is not Magic the Gathering. This, this is, is not Destiny the Gathering. All right, we're doing some uh, math to figure out what threshold Matthew needs to kill Palpatine with a vengeance. We might see an Atari strike where he throws an 8-bit console at him. Not quite sure. This is getting really exciting. We could see Palpatine just like trip and fall over his own legs. All right, so we're gonna flip into Kylo special. And as we've all seen, Kylo can just decimate your shields, which yeah. you felt really good about, and now you don't feel so good about it anymore. But unfortunately, it is necessary to stay alive. And with nine seconds left in the match, time will be called here. I'm pretty sure the Palpatine player We're concedes taking... if that happens. I mean, he was on, yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there was nothing nothing there to do, unfortunately. Oh, there was Force, Force Storm, that would have helped. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. All of them are on the bottom. That's that's unfortunate. Unfortunate, yeah. All of his... And you know what? We were talking about him digging for Bacta. Yeah. But I also am willing to bet he was digging for Sabres. He was digging for everything, yeah, really. Yeah, he was just trying to dig out. Well, uh, you can't see it, but there's some Velociraptors running around here. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, they might be pumping something through the air here, but... It's fun of being at a con, right? Yeah, it's fun of being at a con until you get eaten by a Velociraptor. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this match because even though it seems that a lot didn't really go on, uh, in all reality, there was a lot of stuff happening across this 35-minute match. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think Matthew played it very well. You know, he utilized what Raylo can do, and he was able to deal all that damage. I mean, even with all the shields that Palp did get on there, he handled it pretty well and uh, utilized his shields very well um, and mitigating when he needed to. So I think yeah. Matthew played it very well. Daniel, again, just fortunate that all the, his damage dealers were right there on the bottom. But, well, um, I, I have to give props to Daniel uh, because I'm pretty sure it's Mufisto from Entourage because mm -hmm. we had uh, Cruzen and Jimmy on our show last week. But he was at a lot of different intersections where uh, Palpatine was going to die. Yeah. And he consistently kept, not only kept him alive, but kept just stopping Raylo in its tracks from doing anything of value. And that's why it was just really fun to watch. I really wish we could have seen this game play out just because there was a consistent give and take between both players that was just very enjoyable to watch, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to wrap up this round. So this is round five out of eight. We're going to uh, not take too long of a break because now that time has been called. Everyone's going to uh, wrap up the end of their game. They're going to put the pairings up. So don't go anywhere. Go ahead and get yourself some nachos, a root beer, maybe a Mountain Dew. We're going to go here in a few minutes. We'll be right back with the Chance Cube. This coverage of Star Wars Destiny is supported in part by our patrons. The Chance Cube wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the support of our patrons. We appreciate each and every one of you who generously support us in our mission to explore Star Wars Destiny and educate players along the way. We couldn't do it without you. If you would like to join our friends in high places, then head over to patreon.com forward slash the chance cube. One dollar a month goes a long way to maintaining and growing content like this and much more. And special thanks to Jim Goss, Derek Bertram, and Nathan Henderson for their generous support as top tier patrons.